I mean, what we want to be able to do is when, an, when a customer comes into one of our showrooms, like yeah. we're, we're in today, yeah. um, we yeah. want to have something that would appeal to all of them. And at the end of the day, maybe off-roading is not for everyone. Mm. Um, not to say that they wouldn't potentially go into an off-road caravan, but having an on-road caravan for us, I mean, we're going up to 30% lighter in some of the equivalent yeah. models. Yeah. Uh, and naturally will be more affordable because they don't have to have a lot of the things that we do typically add to our off-road series. Um, it will open it up to a whole new market that mm. haven't yet been able to consider MDC or maybe haven't considered MDC mm. because they thought maybe an off-road product's not for me. Hello and welcome to the Off Grid Down Under podcast and video series. Hey guys, Melissa here from Off Grid Down Under and today, I say this every week, but I mean it and sincerely, we've got a really special guest. We have James Field with us, who is, uh, what's your title at MDC? Uh, thanks Melissa, thanks for having me. Uh, <laughs> so so my, uh, my title is General Manager Commercial and Product. Yes. So uh, yeah, do a, do a fair bit at MDC. It's kind of research and development? Yeah, research and development. Yeah, uh, product working, development. Yeah, product development, working with our suppliers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, lots, lots of things. So why we're talking to you today is because MDC have a very, very exciting thing that we're launching and it's all timed and coinciding right now with our SR on-road caravan series. Incredibly exciting times for I us, know. for sure. So the Ford SR series, as you said, we're launching mm. very, very shortly um, at the Queensland Caravan Show. Yep, what date? Uh, 5th of June. Uh, 2024. So 2024, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Um, just in case anyone's watching this um, even in the years to come. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, incredibly exciting times for MDC, going into a completely new space um, mm. for us. Mm. But I think it's a really important space for us to go into, particularly for our customers, and mm. be able to really offer our customers something um, that perhaps we haven't been able to offer them before. Because traditionally, people, when they think of MDC, um, and it's been, we've been going for 12, 13 years, nearly 15 years actually, it's always been very big in the off-roading space, very, very um, reliable, always excelling and going to the next level of being able to, as our tagline is, escape with confidence in to the weirdest, wildest places and get there safely with your van intact. Your car will probably fall apart before your van falls mm. apart. But that means that we're kind of like not able to help everybody in the market, doesn't it? So yeah. is that kind of the impetus behind what came about about putting the on-road series together? Yeah, for sure. I mean, what we want to be able to do is when, an, when a customer comes into one of our showrooms, like yeah. we're, we're in today, yeah. um, we yeah. want to have something that would appeal to all of them. And at the end of the day, maybe off-roading is not for everyone. Mm. Um, not to say that they wouldn't potentially go into an off-road caravan, but having an on-road caravan for us, I mean, we're going up to 30% lighter in some of the equivalent yeah. models. Yeah. Uh, and naturally will be more affordable because they don't have to have a lot of the things that we do typically add to our off-road series. So being 30%, so let's just talk about the features then. Being 30% lighter, what does that actually mean? That means you don't have to have a big heavy vehicle to tow it. For sure. What else does that, how else does that help being 30% yeah. lighter? That's probably the, the, the biggest one mm. for sure is around, uh, is around that towing weight. It opens it up to a, mm. a wider range of tow vehicles. Yeah. Um, it, it'll tow just as, as well as, a, as an off-road caravan. That was my next question. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. And what about, so then what I like about that then is I can use my day driver to tow, if I had a caravan that I can tow with that on the weekend, I don't need to have two vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. depending on which model you're looking at, absolutely, there is far more of the, I guess you call them family friendly SUV style vehicles yeah. that you can use to tow our Ford SR series. So what else are the features that kind of make an on-road vehicle or caravan different to an off-road caravan? Yeah, so we, we've kind of gone, I guess, if you look at industry as a whole, I guess we've kind of gone backwards or done it differently than a lot of other customers or other companies would do. We started off-road and as you know, MDC have an incredibly good uh, mm -hmm. name in the off-road space. Mm -hmm. um, and then we worked backwards or, you know, gone into the on-road space. So for us, we looked at things that what don't we need on an on-road product to, whether that's to, to save some money, to make them more affordable, mm -hmm. save some weight. Uh, so things like chafe taking off the rock sliders, no more recovery points. Yeah. Uh, so things like that, you know, no front storage boxes, don't need that for, for long trips to be able to take things on. Yeah. Um, so really, really focused on those elements of it. It's certainly nothing we've done there to make them any less strong. Yeah. 
yeah, okay, yeah. They are well and truly capable for, for sealed road uh, application, mm. but it's been focusing on those areas of whether it's we're taking the things off that you don't necessarily need because you're only going to be going on road or on sealed roads, mm. but also looking at the specification because a lot of the spe specification in our units is specific to using it off grid or, or off road. Yeah. Um, so things like additional battery power, lots and lots of solar, things like that. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, everything weighs something. And yeah. when you look at that and what's necessary and what, what is not necessarily needed in an on-road product mm -hmm. is, I guess, where all that comes from. Okay, okay. So look, MDC are really well known for their quality builds and, and the materials that we use and all the parts that we choose. And we want to talk about this in a minute too, the ISO 9001 mm -hmm. and the RV maps. So it's still going to be the same kind of quality, isn't it? It's just going to be in an on-road capacity. Do you want to kind of like talk about that? Yeah. So as you said, the quality doesn't change. MDC has a great reputation in that space in mm. terms of, uh, of, of quality and the way in which we manufacture. So what we've done when we built this on-road series is we've taken a lot of the uniquely MDC elements and made yeah. sure we keep them in the on-road range. So things like we're still running independent suspension, yeah. We're still running an aluminium frame for the body, mm -hmm. hot dip galvanised chassis, uh, big 12 inch mega hub uh, electric brake drums. Yeah, yeah. So again, we have translated a lot of those things that we're known for in the market mm. and still kept them in our uh, on road series, which I think is a fantastic thing. And I think that customers will find it hard mm. to find something like this in the market uh, with equivalent specification and build quality for the the affordable price that we've got them for. So it's, it's really just for people that know in their heart of hearts they don't need to drag them up and down off-roading tight roads and stuff. They just want to go to a really nice caravan park or can I take it on the beach? Would you? No, no not going to no. take it on the beach? No, uh, yeah. Tell absolutely. us where we can take it. Like, what's the, what's the best way to use this sure. caravan? Uh, so, at the end of the day, we are still, um, you know, a, a, an off road manufacturer and very much mm. known for that. So, we've still got our range for, for those kind of things. Yeah. The Ford SR series allows customers to go, SR stands for sealed roads. Yeah. So, sealed roads, anywhere they will take you, um, whether that's farm stays, caravan parks. Yeah. It, lots of national parks these days, too, Melissa. Definitely are still oh, very much. Uh, yeah. two-wheel drive friendly um, mm. or you know on roads so certainly not a lot of limitation there but yeah. um, they are built uh, specifically for um, sealed or on-road use. So who's the kind of customer that you think is going to really like this on-road series because I know when you design something you've always got somebody in mind. Yeah for Who sure. Who are you thinking this really helps? As I said before, like what we want to be able to achieve here is when someone walks into our showroom, we want to have something to provide to basically anyone. Mm. So for the Ford SR series, what we're hoping is that there's layouts, there, you know, the weight factor we spoke about before, um, it will open it up to a whole new market that mm. haven't yet been able to consider MDC or maybe haven't considered MDC mm. because they thought maybe an off-road product's not for me. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it sort of has a lot of connotations that come with it. Yeah. So this really is, a, 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 it really is just a nice way to camp and a nice way to get out there and experience the outdoors. And I know personally, sometimes you don't want it to be, you know, a big undertaking. Mm. You just want to jump on the, go to a nice caravan park. There's so many beautiful caravan parks that are resort style, take the kids, pull out the cheese platter and the wine yep. and just hang out with friends, yes. let the kids jump on the jumping pillow and be in the resort pool. Absolutely. And just have a really nice, lovely experience. For sure. And really indulge, I guess, and still have that lovely outdoorsy lifestyle. And it yep. doesn't have to be demanding. Exactly. Incredibly easy to set up. Yeah. You know, reverse it in, put the legs down and pretty much away you go. So very, very easy to set up, very yeah. easy to use. We've designed these with those kind of things in mind. Incredibly user friendly. Um, and back to your point before about uh, caravan parks, I've, I've gone yeah. a number of times. I've got a very young family. Exactly. Um, so for us, so you want uh, amenities. A, a relaxing holiday for us yeah. is taking a caravan to a caravan park, yeah. pulling it up, using the resort pool, ordering that takeaway <laughs> to, your, to your caravan. There's um, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. 
Yeah, and no, I love that. So how many are in the range? There's seven in the range. Seven in the range. What size do they vary from? Yes. What's kind of, how are they all different? Yeah, so we've got uh, seven in the range, yeah. ranging from nine feet to 19 feet in length. Yeah. Uh, a mixture of family models and, uh, you know, single or couple models. Yeah. Uh, like in, in a number of different layouts that we, we think are incredibly popular layouts or layouts that we've learned over time, mm. customers are either looking for or that are popular within our range already. Ready. What I really love about MDC, and we talk about this all the time, is that we listen to our customers because we have such a good relationship with different owners group, but particularly the um, MDC Oz RV owners group, and they, we get a lot of feedback. And so how much have you listened to customers when it comes to developing this range? And tell us a little bit about that process. Mm. Yeah, you, you are right. So we will always analyse customer feedback. Mm. I, I meet regularly with the sales teams. We are very active on our social media to yeah. find out what uh, what our customers are liking and maybe things that we can look at and, uh, and change in the future. Um, so that has absolutely been taken on board with the Ford SR series. And I think one of the really important things to talk about with the Ford SR series is whilst we spoke about using them in caravan parks and, and things like that, mm. we have set these up in a way that you can still use them natural. Uh, national park so you've got 200 amps of lithium battery power okay. as standard you've got 350 watts of solar on the roof you've got uh, solar charging dc charging from your car but you also got as standard a 1600 watt pure sine wave inverter mm -hmm. so you can run a, a lot of different things talk to me in layman's terms what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> basically basically an inverter allows you to run household items so things like a coffee machine I was say, a can hair I have a dryer coffee? a kettle oh my god you just said a hair dryer <laughs> <laughs> things yeah. like that yeah, yeah. Um, depending on the wattage of it, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. You can plug straight in the front of it. So if you aren't on a powered site, mm. maybe that's a national park, maybe you're at a farm stay, these are still very well equipped. Oh, and all okay. of the models that we've got that have uh, an internal shower or combination ensuite also come standard with grey water tanks which again is a huge advantage. So if you're going on a, to a national mm. park where you're not allowed to dump your, your grey waste, mm. you have as standard on all those models, grey water tanks. So you're really providing all the same stuff that we always have provided. It's just you've come up with a, a can I say, an actually a lighter, yes, cheaper? They're more affordable, absolutely. Yeah, more affordable yes. <laughs> alternative. So talk to me about price points then, because that is always, I guess it's a good entry level way for people too to enter the market in the caravanning world. They don't have to like option all the way up to the top if they don't need to. For sure. Yeah. I mean, if you look at product journey of any customer and we at MDC are all incredibly passionate about caravan and camping, mm. but we understand that everyone's got a budget some people's budgets are different than others. Yeah. But what you'll see is people will often come in in an entry level product or a camper trailer. So mm. for us right now, that's in our Explorer camper trailer. Mm. That's around uh, just under $20,000. Mm -hmm. But adding in the Ford SR series, Again, that, that winds us up. We start yeah. those at, at the introductory price of twenty nine nine ninety for our SR9, so our nine foot uh, yeah. model. Yeah. So again, incredibly affordable for people who are looking to do it for their first time. And if they like it, maybe they then will then, you know, move through that product journey and buy something that maybe they want to go off road. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about the range? Uh, it's a really good question. Um, for me, what excites me, I think, the best uh, about the range is the fact that we can offer more customers the, mm. the MDC quality, what we are so passionate about. We can now offer that to a whole new bunch of customers and people that we've never been able to before. So yeah. that really, really excites me that we can get people caravanning and camping me in too. a quality product yeah. at an incredibly competitive price point. I like that because camping, there's a lot of negative connotations out there. People have got our age, you're younger than me, have got a lot of... Um, mixed emotions and feelings of what it was like to camp back in the day, particularly probably my generation, you know, where the tents leaked, parents would just set up things under under elaborate <laughs> yes. tarp situations. Yep. And it been was, there. yeah, and look, it was fun when it was sunny, but I've been in some really, really like hailstorms. For sure. We've been flooded where there's water one foot up the outside of the tent. Yep. And we're, we're evacuating two dogs and five kids <laughs> and all that gear, like just crazy, crazy scenarios. And I guess people can, like they have got nice memories of camping from the, their childhood, but they want to get their families back into that camping scenario. And maybe they just 
intimidated about mm. you know how that how that's going to look. Yeah, this you're is right. a really good introductory caravan. Am I right? No, absolutely. To get them going? Incredibly user friendly, very easy to use, yeah. easy to set up, easy to tow. Uh, yeah. So yeah, absolutely, and it's not that painstaking as you talked about. Oh my just god! There where you've six got hour setups. You're yeah. setting up. You've done a six pack in the process. I mean, you'll <laughs> you'll have set up and be sitting drinking before you know it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like where you're going with that, Jason. Oh, that's awesome. So what I'm hearing from you is that people that might be buying this kind of a caravan, this could be their first foray actually into caravanning. And what are they going to get from MDC coming into this maybe as a first time user or a second time user, but a little bit green? How do we support them in that customer journey after the sale is made? Because I know that's super important and that's where people can drop off and forget about people. But I know that that's not the MDC story. So share with me <laughs> how that works. No, you're right. So the incredibly well-established brand, which yeah. I think is one of the one of the really important things. And if I was a, a buyer myself, that's something that I would be looking at yeah. um, is how well-established is the brand that I'm looking to purchase from. Um, yeah. So as you said, MDC, we've been around for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that, that's certainly the first thing. Uh, another great thing for us too is we have eight showrooms nationwide, all yeah. dedicated MDC Oz RV showrooms, which will all have the Ford SR yeah, series so it's as well. Not, you're not buying off a dealer or someone, you're buying from a dedicated team member. Absolutely. And in, in that way, they are dedicated product experts. So they're going to be able to talk you through the journey. Well, we use um, the you products. Yeah. We, go, we go out in them. Yeah, Absolutely. Sorry, buddy. No, not at all. <laughs> and excited. you are right. I mean, most of the team have gone out and caravan and camped yeah, yeah. And, and used it themselves, which is fantastic. Um, so that's that's an element of it for sure. Um, mm. We invest a lot of time in, in training our staff to know the product, to then be able to explain it to customers so they can use it and yeah. feel comfortable and confident in using it. Yeah. Um, owner's manuals, yeah. I would suggest we're it's probably... It's extensive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I suggest our owner's manuals are, are up there in, in terms of the best in industry at this current point uh, yeah. with the guidance and the information we give with that, coupled with uh, masterclasses that our very own Steve Zammett does <laughs> uh, when it, he teaches us how he's, to use the product. He's got something like 80 videos on there on the MDC website, which is available for anybody to look at, to be quite frank. Yes. But I love that because that's a real commitment then, I think, to actually showing that you care about the end user and the customer. Absolutely. And it's a relationship. And a lot of our customers, I've got to say, are on their second, third and fourth Oh, they start at the camper trailer and then they move through. So this is, you know, the I see the SR series as being, could be some, where somebody settles and stays or where they could get their confidence up and then go to the next level. For sure. Or, or we could even see customers upgrading to the Ford SR series too from well, another yeah, product. Yeah, exactly. So it just gives yeah. us that, that scope, yeah. I guess. I think I'm to say. another thing, back to your point about how do we support our customers, Melissa, yeah. um, we have a dedicated after-sales service team yes, we do. at MDC. So in total, that, that's 10 dedicated staff to look after our cast customers post sale. Mm. So mm. you alluded to before potential dealer interactions is yeah. once you've sold and maybe you know there's not as much emphasis on after that journey. But at MDC, we really do focus on providing support to our customers through that. So as I said, 10, 10 dedicated staff in our after sales service uh, yeah. department, a yeah. nationwide service network that we've set up. So we, we can find someone um, to assist at any point in the journey yeah. for a customer. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. So tell us a little bit about you because I neglected to do that right at the beginning <laughs> of this because you're sitting here, like you are an authority in the industry and you deserve a lot of respect actually from where you come from. And it's very exciting that you're even working in this company and advising and helping and assisting and growing this brand new range for us. So what's your background? And don't be humble <laughs> and just let us know what you, where you've come from and where your passion lies. Yeah. Uh, so I started in industry in 2006. Yeah. I don't know how long that was, 17 odd years. Don't perhaps. have to add it up. <laughs> <laughs> a, fair, a fair while. Um, so I started in 2006. I started uh, as a apprentice cabinet maker and coach builder yeah. for a uh, European caravan and motorhome company. Mm. Um, so I learned a lot in that period. I worked for them for a fair few years. I learned all aspects of the product at that point from, you know, interior, plumbing, electrical, um, mm. chassis, engineering, all these kind of things. That's um, really at the ground level. Yeah, so, so cool. I did. Absolutely. I, I, I was speaking You're blue to, collar. <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. I did, I did. And I think uh, I was speaking to one of the guys about this the other day that I still remember exactly how much I was on when yeah. I first started in my journey yeah. and, you know, how, how things always transpire and, and grow 
grow as you go. But so then from there, um, I, I moved on to one of uh, Queensland's largest uh, caravan dealerships. Yeah. Where I ran uh, their workshop there for a few years. So service, repair, warranty, mm. pre-delivery. Uh, also got involved with the manufacturers for uh, product development, model improvement, um, and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I then spent a bit of time uh, with TAFE Queensland, uh, which is a, a training provider where I actually worked and developed some technical resources or technical books to help uh, people in the trade to learn more about how to build and repair caravans. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I went on to a couple of other places, worked for some places that did uh, high-end electrical installations in you know yachts, uh, boats, four-wheel drives, caravans, motorhomes. Um, and then I actually then went uh, to uh, the Caravan Industry Association mm -hmm. of Australia, mm -hmm. uh, which is the peak national body for everything caravan and camping. Yeah. Um, and I did a lot, of uh, a lot of work in that space with the um, compliance program. Uh, I also worked a lot with yeah. uh, government regulators on regulatory change, uh, assisted a lot of manufacturers in, in changes or things that they were going through. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I've, I've, I've done a few things and then was lucky enough that the opportunity came up um, with MDC mm -hmm. um, and I was really excited about the direction that the company was heading at the time and, yeah. and the vision that MDC had uh, for the product, but not only for the product, for their customers, which was really important for me. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I'm the same. It uh, doesn't it doesn't matter to be part of a brand or business that cares yes. about what they're putting out and giving their customers. It's really important. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then um, came on board and been lucky enough to be involved in some very exciting projects, including the the Ford SR series. Yeah. What? So, what was you, personally? What was your actual involvement in that whole range? <laughs> Um, and yeah, don't so be modest. <laughs> I uh, yeah, so been working on this in in behind the scenes for quite a while. Yeah. Um, basically, from inception to um, to launch. Yeah. Yeah. Doing <laughs> <laughs> every aspect of yeah, it. To be honest, that's so where I'm going. research, research and development, the yeah. engineering, working with our uh, with our factory on all the manufacturing elements yeah. of the product. Um, but really, with compliance. Yeah, te technical yeah, compliance, the regulatory stuff. Because I touched on that before, MDC really are one of the only caravan companies I know in Australia that actually has the ISO 9001 mm. plus the RV Max, which is the industry accredited yes. um, compliance. That, Tell me a little bit about that, about how important that is and what that means for the customer. Because they might come to a showroom or they might go to a show and sort of see all these banners up, mm. you know, and see that we have all those things. But what does that actually mean? Yeah. So I guess we can cover off on um, RV MAP first. That stands yeah. for Recreational Vehicle Manufacturing yeah. Accreditation Program. And why is it so important? Why so RV MAP is a voluntary industry compliance program. Yeah. Um, so we voluntarily um, subject ourselves to this. And <laughs> I can say from experience, I think it took MDC three years at least to go through the accreditation process before mm. we achieved the, the accreditation. So yeah. it's certainly not something that's just given out um, easily. Yeah. You don't buy it. No. So, mm. so to go through that, you are audited regularly against a lot of uh, federal uh, compliance regulations. Yeah. So whether that's like road rule related and things like that. Mm -hmm. So any of the, the, the design rules for... So that's a national thing in Australia. Yep. So that's yeah. a national thing. Yeah. So what does that mean for a customer, which I guess is, is where we're, we're heading with this, is yeah. for the customer, knowing that you're purchasing from someone who's proactively and voluntar voluntarily putting their hand up to yeah. be subject to this <laughs> additional scrutiny yeah. Um, and wanting to do the right thing, mm. I think that mm. absolutely transfers and translates to a better product in all aspects. Because if you're focusing on the detail of these incredibly critical compliance things, and it, there's you know over 250 rules at least that apply mm. with mm. respect to the RV map program, um, if a cust if a company is dedicated to being part of this program and paying attention to this detail and all the background of it, yeah, it naturally forces that company to be more proactive in every aspect of the business to create controls and processes which then leads to a much better product and you can yeah, you can genuinely okay. see it in our product when you look at the quality and the consistency of the product a lot of things that other 
companies will struggle with. So a much better product equals a much better camping experience. Absolutely, yeah. And, and also, you've got to look at the resale value of the caravan too. One day, you might want to upgrade or, or move on or do something with your caravan. And, you know, when you buy a really reputable caravan from a reputable company that's got all this quality control, mm. you also get the resale back. And, I mean, it's all these little things that all just add up to, yes. you know, it's an investment of your of hard-earned money you want to make sure that you're buying the right thing for sure it's a good investment across the board mm. so what about iso 9001 what's that yeah so iso 9001 is not industry specific iso 9001 is the international standard for yeah. quality management systems which essentially means that it is a set framework for how you should run the business to make sure that you are managing your quality systems mm. so and it's every part it of is, the business yeah. it's every aspect of our business so yeah. it covers sales marketing our finance department and it, yeah. it covers obviously what we do, the technical product model, yeah. uh, every single aspect of the business. We get audited uh, every year and these will take sometimes up to a week yeah. uh, in this audit process. There's a lot involved in yeah. it. They will ask some very challenging questions. <laughs> it's certainly something that if you are not practicing what you preach mm. and actually doing it as per the, the standard or ISO mm. 9001 quality management system standard, they will figure out that you're not following your processes. So again, when we talk about why is this good for customers, mm. you're, you're raising the bar. We are again, proactively and voluntarily putting our hand yeah. up to be scrutinized against our processes so that we can give yeah. a better product to our customers. So, that's so more, more fun caravanning. Yeah, and that's what it all just boils down to, exactly. So lastly, but not leastly, <laughs> if that's even a word, I'm gonna ask you, do you have a favorite? in the series which one would you take your young kids and yep. your partner in, in the ford in? sr series absolutely yeah. I, got, I, got, I think i've got two favorites in the ford sr series actually you can have the, two you're allowed to <laughs> so the sr 17 plus yeah uh, so that's our family model as i said yeah. before i do have a young family so it's got two bunks it's yeah. uh, it's a five berth so you can fit a third child uh oh. in where the the table don't uh, even the say there's a third is. child coming along i'm not gonna <laughs> put the pressure on you and um yeah so you've got the the two bunks and that for the yeah, that and uh incredibly good layout it's very, very similar layout to our XT17 HRT family. Nice. That comes in a single, but a single axle variant, yeah. uh, 30% lighter. So again, it will open this product up to a much wider, yeah. uh, wider customer base. The what, second one is the, second one? the SR14. So a 14 foot hard roof, which we actually don't have in our range right now, which is, ah. it excites me a lot. It's a very, very cool layout. Um, I think it'll work really well for us. Um, and as I said, so we have our XT14E, yeah. which is an electric roof pop top. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to be able to have a 14-foot hard roof in, in the range now. <laughs> so good. And the last question, where is your favourite destination for anybody listening to this? Oh. Where would you take it on tarred roads? Yeah. What's, uh, what's your favourite place to go camping? So what we typically do, and we're talking sealed roads. Um, yeah, sealed roads. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've done a lot of the caravan parks around South East Queensland with my family over yeah, the last few nice. years. Um, there's another, there's a farm stay, I can't remember the name of it, but in northern New South Wales that we've been to. Absolutely amazing. So pull up the caravan, set it up. You can go down, swim in the dam, feed the feed the cows. Aww, so beautiful that's spot. so nice. Gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you so much, James. Honestly, it is a beautiful range. It's very exciting. Um, I just love that it's opened it up to so many more people and that the sales guys can now, when you come into an MDC showroom or go to the show, they actually have a product. If you just are open and honest with them and just let them know what your style of camping is, they're going to be able to put you into anything. And if you're into the more of a, just a enjoyable, relaxing, peaceful holiday, which is all on sealed roads, the, the SR series is the one for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks for having me. Oh my God, it's a pleasure. Thank you.